Hello everyone, this is Alicia, also known as AVP0685. Um, thought I'd do my weekly vlog a little bit early this week, since it's the holiday of Thanksgiving here in the United States. Thought I'd give you an update on my blog early and also on other topics. Um, I've already read my weekly book, which was a book about Math Maddie Stepanek, who basically he was a poet. Who died sadly at only the age of 13, not quite 14. He wrote these poems known as heart songs. He encouraged people to have a happy attitude, have a positive outlook on life. And that's a very good outlook to have. Um, also, I have not read, I mean not read, watched my weekly movie. I have to find out what I'm going to watch, but I'll figure out what I'm going to watch. Um, also... I'm still staying active as possible. This week has been a little bit of a challenge because last week, no joke, on Friday I was in a car accident. What happened was me and my friend were pulling out of the parking lot of where these stores and everything were. There was a bread truck that it was illegally parked. It didn't have the lights on and the truck was parked sort of like this. And we were in the parking lot across from it. And we were backing up, backing up, backing up, backing up. We thought we had enough room to turn around and then pull out. But because he was parked really weird, we ended up hitting him. And on the passenger side, I ended up getting hit in the back. My back is okay now. It was really, really in pain from Friday and until off and on today. Today has been a little bit better. Today I'm able to move around with very little pain. Um, I'm, I would say I'm about 90% better, not quite a hundred percent, but 90% better than I was. Um, I've been basically taking a set of medicine. I've also been using a back brace to help give me extra support in my back area. If I'm doing any lifting, I walk around more. I'm also taking hot baths with Epsom salt, which helps too. So I don't get stiff and sore. The stiffness is starting to I can feel the soreness starting to creep in a little bit, but I can always take some acetaminophen for that. Um, also, I'm still trying to back off on my sweets, still trying to back off on my snacks. Um, still trying to help out people who need extra help in whatever way. I do that as much as I can. Um, still trying to pass on sunshine in whatever way I can, which I did this week. I also did it today. Um, so this week is because of the Thanksgiving season about being thankful, having a thankful heart. Um, basically, in case you don't know what it means, it basically means even though you don't live in a palace, be thankful. Even though you don't have the latest fashion clothing, you wear it, what you've got, and you're thankful for that. Maybe you don't have steak and caviar and all of that in your refrigerators, but be thankful for the food that you do have. Um, you may not live in a you may not have a Ferrari, but be thankful if you do have a car. Not everybody has a car. I myself don't. I'm thankful for the rides I get, the subway system near where I live. Um, if you are someone that can't stand your brothers and sisters, be thankful you have brothers and sisters because I myself don't have any brothers and sisters, so you should be thankful you have those. Not everybody has that. If you can't stand your family, well, be thankful you have family. Not everybody has that. I myself have only one living parent and I'm thankful I have her even though it's not perfect but I'm thankful for her I'm thankful for this new computer for the longest I didn't have new computers it was constantly not good <laughs> but now I'm just thankful I have a working computer and it's state of the art as much as possible I'm thankful I have a working printer I had a scare where I was thinking oh no what's going on with my printer it's not acting right and I contacted the company and they sent me a ink cartridge and now it's acting better. I'm thankful it didn't have to be replaced. Okay, I don't have cable TV or satellite TV like Dish Network, but I'm thankful that I have a lot of movies. I'm thankful for, I have a lot of books. I'm thankful for what I do have because when I downsized from my home, I lost a lot of things and certain things I still don't know where they are. And I, I'm just thankful for what I do have. Like I said, not everybody is blessed to have all those things. So what I'm trying to say is be thankful because, not just because I'm saying it, but God wants us to be thankful. And, and if you don't believe in God, well, just 
just be glad you have something because like I said not everybody has that you could be someone on the street living under a bridge and you don't have anything because I know those people are probably even thankful for what they get because they could be without it so my advice for to all of you this week is be thankful have a good holiday if you're in the U.S. have a good Thanksgiving don't eat too much turkey don't watch too much football just be thankful that you have people there in your lives and those of you that are overseas watching this just be thankful anyway because hey you get a holiday or you get paid you get jobs you get whatever you get just be glad you have that because like I said everybody has that so that's my little rant for this week take care now and I will see you all another time bye now